Yo, what's good, people? We back. Had to come through on this, yo. I had to come through on this because we got to put it into perspective. Dwayne Wade has one of the most gassed up NBA legacies of all times. If there's anybody in the Hall of Fame that should be questioned, it's, du- it's definitely Dwayne Wade. T-Mac definitely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame before Dwayne Wade. Look at how long he's been retired, right? Look at how long he's been retired. You don't see people talking about, oh man, remember how D-Wade used to do this? Remember how Dwayne Wade used to do this and do that and do this and do that? Nobody says that. Nobody brings him up after he after his career is done. His career is done now. People are like, good. Now we can play. That That's what it's like with Dwayne Wade. We got to be honest about this. If you're talking about two guards, I want Reggie Miller on my team before I want Dwayne Wade. I want Ray Allen before I get Dwayne Wade. I want Vince Carter before I get Dwayne Wade. Shit, I'll even take Kerry Kittles. You get what I'm saying? Because when you're dealing with Dwayne Wade, you're dealing with you're dealing with some other shit. I, I don't know. Because look at his rings, right? He got quote unquote three rings. Those are like the three most questionable rings of all time. I'm like, yo, how could you just stack somebody up with rings that totally didn't deserve that shit? That let's go back to that first ring. That first ring, Miami over Dallas. That first ring of Miami over Dallas is why Dallas beat Miami, and when they got LeBron, because they needed their payback. They said, yo, they needed their payback. That shit was super fixed. That shit was so fixed. It like it really turned me off. To me, that was one of the worst finals of all times. The only person I've heard bring up that Miami Heat team was has been Gilbert Arenas, and that's you know he's a basketball junkie. You know what I'm saying? Because like that Miami Heat team did not impress me at all. No disrespect to Shaq, no, but honestly, that Miami Heat team was, if that wasn't capped by how they were able to get to the finals and win, I don't know it was. And there's no way in hell they were better than the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons were a real team. Ben Wallace, Rasheed Wallace, Chauncey, Rich, Rip Tayshon. That was a starting five. What is the Miami Heat starting five? Um, Jason Williams, Dwayne Wade, Antoine Walker. Um, what else do they have on there with Shaq? Uh, Samaki Walker? Like, what do they have? Let me tell you, they cheated in that 2006 finals so that Alonzo Mourning could get a ring. It was like, let's stack up all these old, let's stack up all the old players. The one Jordan ran through. Let's uh, stack them all together and give them a ring. Gary Payton could have went to mad teams. He could have played for a lot longer. He could have played for longer. could have been on other teams. But it, it was the Miami Heat where, oh, you go down here, you're guaranteed that uh, they're going to pull something. Cause that 2006 finals, like you shooting 40 free throws, you you, you score 40 some points and then you go 29 for 29 from the free throw line, like like that was like that that like that's a stat. It's not a stat. Nobody be like, oh man, wait. The like, only person that ever talked about free throw percentage was Skip Bayless. Seriously. Well, I'm wearing, I'm not giving credit for you going to the free throw line. Cause you know why? It's up to the referees to to call the, to blow the whistle. So, so I can't give you credit for that. Dwayne Wade, the shakiest, the shakiest jump shot of all times. Now we're not going to get when we get to ring two and three. His most credible ring, his most credible ring was ring number two, the first ring with uh, Miami Heat. That ring, he, uh, you know, was the most credible where he put in, like, you know, he put in work, the most work that he could put in. 
But but from the day LeBron went to that team, that was LeBron's team. We all know that. That's why that comment about LeBron wouldn't be his, who he was unless he went to Miami. That was like listen, like you Sam retarded. I was that was crazy. But because if he would have stayed in Cleveland, they they were going they were going to beat the Celtics. Whether he did it the, the next year or the year after the next, like they were going to beat the Celtics. Like the number, but for so long, like KG at 33 or 34, 35 years old was going to lead to something. So, that ring number two that he got with OKC, but that he got against OKC, that was his most credible time in the league, his most credible time in the league. Now, now let's be honest. I'm going be, I'm to be honest. Dwayne Wade, before LeBron got there, was amazing to look at in a highlight reel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because his, his highlight reel on ESPN would be crazy. But then you look at the standings like, oh, shit, well, Miami is, uh, well, they're 42 and, and uh, 41. Well, 42 and 40. So how good was, was it? How, how, how valuable was that shit he was doing? Because they were always like, oh, man, the way he with this crazy layup. Oh, man, he just did a cartwheel. And, oh, he just got cold on the air and made the layup. Like, yeah, but your team finished 42 and 40, or you finished 40 and 42. The year before LeBron got there was Dwayne Wade's best year. Got no MVP votes. You get what I'm saying? If he did get any MVP votes, I think he came in fifth. I think, as a matter of fact, I think he came in fifth. That was his highest ever for getting MVP votes. But, but you in the Hall of Fame. You got three rings in the Hall of Fame. That third ring, just say thank you, LeBron, because that third ring, he didn't do shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, that was like, it was LeBron's team since he, like, from the day that he stepped on the court with the Miami Heat, the day he signed the contract with them, it was, it was LeBron's team. But then, um, by ring number three, Dwayne Wade was washed up. He was super washed. He was washed up. That's why I be I'm bringing up this uh, the conversation with people. I be like, yo, who you want? And they prime. You want Dwayne Wade or James Harden? Yeah, I'm taking James Harden every day, every pick, every chance I get over Dwayne Wade. If if James Harden, matter of fact, James Harden right now, James Harden right now is playing Dwayne Wade. He would cook Dwayne Wade so nasty. You know what I'm saying, Dwayne? Because matter of fact, the best thing about Dwayne Wade was him being pu- pulling off blocks. You know what I'm saying he averaged, he averaged a lot of like a high number of blocks as as a, guard, a shooting guard. He had a long wingspan. You know what I'm saying. So that's how he got a lot of steals. He was able to play the passing lanes, and that led to a lot of his highlights, and stuff like that. But I'm still going James Harden. You know, James Harden could shoot from the outside. Dwayne Wade was the shakiest of all. T- like when I used to see. Dwayne Wade pull up for three during the big three era. I'd be like, oh man, why you why like why are you taking that shot? Why are you about to brick like that? You know, like you are rated like 64 and threes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You are 60, you are, you are a 64 from the outside. What are you doing? You know? That's that's what that's what I would say. But he really, really has to thank LeBron for those two rings that he got. If it wasn't for him, it was his fault. They would have had three, maybe even, maybe even four rings, because they definitely would have beat um, the, the Dallas Mavericks. They want to talk about oh, LeBron choked and everything like that against the Mavericks. No, what about what about Dwayne Wade? He's other stuff, right? He went third in the draft. Why? Why didn't he perform up to his uh, capabilities? Why couldn't he, um, you know, do be flash? He wasn't flash, you know, in that series. Nah, come on, stop. You know what I'm saying? Like LeBron got with him so that it's not all on him. So that it's not all on him. So if he does, this is if he does go eight for uh, 31, there's somebody else that can play Batman. But, uh, but sad to say, sad to see, that ain't true. That wasn't true. They definitely would have beat the Mavericks. The toughest they would have, and then it would have been a great series in the fourth ring against the Spurs. But 
Leave it up to Dwayne Wade. You know what I'm saying? If there's anybody that doesn't deserve to be in the Hall of Fame, it's Dwayne Wade, man. The NBA, that, that was a real travesty to the legacy. That was a travesty to the legacy. Putting, letting Dwayne Wade get into the NBA. I'm going to be back on my NBA talk. I'm going to talk about that referee that's suing the NBA for them kneeling. I want to talk about him because he's talking about where the NBA is headed socially. You know, and everything like that. So I'm going to talk about that. But Dwayne Wade, you don't deserve the uh, Hall of Fame. But I'm going to go and get out of here, man. I'm out.